Hi, how's it going everyone? Welcome to another video of the React Native AR series. In today's video, I wanted to go over some useful functions that we can add to our 3D objects. So looking at the app right now, we can only switch between like the TV and the skull and the position and the rotation of each object is set, like it's fixed, we can't change that. So I wanted to add some uh, functionality to our app where we can uh, resize our objects using hand gestures and also rotate the objects as well using hand gestures. So to begin with, uh, we'll, we have already imported use state here. So I'll just stop recording for now. So we'll first create a state for both our position and our rotation. So we'll go ahead and create the uh, states for that. So we'll say rotation and set rotation. And we'll use this rotation here as our default rotation. So we'll just remove that and then replace that with the rotation variable. Then we can do the same for uh, the TV here as well. Just have rotation there and then position, same. Then we'll just copy that and replace that with the position variable as well. And then for the scale as well, so we'll have two different scales. Uh, we'll have one for our skull and then we'll have one for our television. So we'll have TV scale. also have our skull scale. And then we'll go ahead and replace that. So this doesn't change much on our current application. We'll still have the same scale uh, rotation and position on our uh, 3D objects. So let's first start with the positioning of the elements. So to change the position, we'll call uh, on drag. So we'll have a function called on drag. And then we'll just create a new function. We'll call it uh, move object. And then we'll pass along uh, positions here. So let's accept that. We'll accept that as our parameter new position. And then let's first go ahead and console log this. So I'll just go ahead and record my screen. So let's switch to the skull. And then I'll open my terminal as well here. So as you can see, as I move, I can now move the object uh, around. And on my terminal here, we're getting all the uh, positions, new positions being console logged. So I can move this here and there and all of that. Okay. And what we can do, basically, we can just set this as our new position. So we'll say set position and we'll make that new position. And then let's add this to our television as well. So 
So now I can also move my television around. There we go. Okay, cool. And then next, uh, so I'd like to rotate my images or my objects as well. And to do that, we'll simply add on rotate. And then here we'll also create a new function. We'll call it rotate object. And then for the rotation method, uh, let's just reference the documentation. So under the Viro ARC documentation, I'll go ahead and search for on rotate. Oops. So control F on rotate. So the three parameters that we need to pass here is rotate state, rotation factor, and the source. So now Every time we rotate the object, uh, there's a rotate state that gets uh, passed to our method. And if the rotate state is three, uh, that means the rotation has ended basically. So rotation state of one, that means the user has started rotating. Uh, rotation state of two, the object is then moving and then rotation three, basically that's when the user has stopped rotating the object. So what we want to do is that we want to set the uh, rotation of our object once the user has finished uh, rotating. So to do that, we'll uh, pretty much copy what we have here. So we'll pass these three parameters. And then if rotate state is equal to three, uh, to three. So if the current state is three, uh, let's first go ahead and console log the rotation factor. And then what we'll also do is console log uh, our current rotation. Okay, and then we'll also display our current rotation. So let me do this. So we'll say current rotation. And then we'll have our rotation factor at the bottom. So let's go ahead and try and rotate uh, our object and see what we get for our current rotation and rotation factor. I'll then bring up my terminal as well here. Then let me just switch to the skull. So if I try and rotate the object, as you can see, we have like our current rotation and our rotation factor there. And then if I try to rotate again, we have another rotation factor and the current rotation. So I'm not entirely sure what the rotation factor is exactly, but looking at the documentation here, in the given example, it says set the current rotation uh, minus the rotation factor. So I'm assuming we'll take like our, ex our current rotation, so our current rotation array, and subtract this uh, rotation factor from each uh, uh, value here. So from the 45, 50, and the 40. So to do that, we'll basically create a new variable here. We'll call it current rotation. And we'll basically get all our current rotation uh, from the rotation uh, variable. So we'll have uh, rotation one, which will be uh, the 45, the 50, and the 40. So same. So still in this array, and then we just subtract the rotation factor from each uh, array value.
And then once we've done that, we'll basically set our rotation as the, uh, we'll basically set our rotation to the new or the current rotation rather. So we'll just call set rotation and set current rotation as the new rotation for our object. And we can get rid of that and just save that. Uh, this can probably be just cleaned up a bit more, but I'll just leave it like that for now. And then I'll just switch to my scar once more. And then I'll just try and rotate this. So I'll use my hands. So as you can see now, as I try rotating it, the skull is also moving around. And I can still drag it around and all. So yeah, that's the rotation. And then we can just add this to our television as well. There we go. And then we can just try the same for our TV, rotating it. There we go. And then now, obviously, uh, we can also scale our object. So to scale this, uh, let's just head back to the documentation. And then here we have on pinch, I think. There we go. So on pinch is the method that we need to call to actually scale or resize our object. So I'll add on pinch here to my 3D object. And then I'll create a function called scale object. Uh, say scale object. Because remember, we have different scales for our skull and our television. So for the skull, I'll have scale skull object, and then I'll also have one for our television. Then for the parameters here, we have pinch state, uh, scale factor, and the source. So let's just change this to pinch state. And what we need to do here also, we need to uh, get a pinch state of three, which is when the user has finished actually pinching the object. And then to get the current scale of our object, we basically take the scale factor and we multiply that by the current scale of our object. So uh, let's get the current uh, scale. So we'll say, uh, actually let's change this to new rotation rather. So we'll say new rotation there and then here we'll have current scale. And that will be scale scale, right? And then for the new scale, uh, let's accept that. So it will basically be an array. So the new scale will basically be our current scale. Multiply by our scale factor. So here we only need like one scale because all three um, array values of our scale are the same. So we'll just get like one scale, I mean one scale value, uh, which is the first one in this case. And then we'll multiply that by our scale factor. And then our new scale will be, say new scale, we'll basically new, So that's our new scale array. And then here, let's just add our if statement. So if pinch state is equal to three, let's just move that, right? And then we'll set our new scale scale to that. And then let's save that. And then I'll go ahead and switch to my scale again. Then I'll try and resize it. Uh, let's see what we left out here. So it's not resizing. Uh, let's console log. See what we're leaving out. OK, 
Okay, so let's just see what we left out. Okay, so it is working. Okay, there we go. I think it was just a reload issue. Okay, let's just save that. So switch back to my skull and I can resize this and then I can also rotate it from here. There we go. And then basically we'll add another function uh, for our television. I'll go ahead and accept that. And we can pretty much copy what we have here and just change our variables. And let's try the uh, scaling with our TV as well. So just resize this. Let's see. And there we go. And we can also rotate this as well. So those are some of the useful functions uh, that you can add to like your object. And I think that's it for now. So from here, I think we can go on uh, and start building out the application that we actually designed in the very first video. Thanks guys, cheers.